Hey everyone, this is Will. In today's video, I wanna show you how easy it is to upgrade a accompaniment track or custom mix file from multitracks.com uh, to the full wave uh, multitracks version. So I'm logged into my site over on multitracks, uh, my account over on multitracks, and I'm gonna to go to the account drop down here and go to downloads. Um, I've got two songs in my account right now that I've purchased. Uh, one is a full multitrack wave, but the other one is an accompaniment track. Now, um, uh, accompaniment track is not useful to use on stage because it's just a stereo file. I don't get click. So I need something I can actually use on stage. So let me show you something that's really cool and unique on multitracks that they offer. So uh, from the accompaniment, uh, from this download section here, I'm gonna click download. Uh, and what you'll see is you get a, a tab here on this file that says upgrade. And this is, a again, kudos to multitracks for offering this. Uh, this is a really great feature to, to not like restrict people to just one file format. So from here, if I wanna upgrade to a custom mix, which let's go ahead. You know, why not? Why the heck not? I, I should mention also I'm logged in. So that's why I see credits as opposed to dollars. So I'm going to click wave seven credits because I'm going to up, update to the wave. Uh, if I want to do um, uh, do some fun stuff with my custom mix and um, uh, mix it, I can go here and, and create my mix. We'll do a separate video on how to use custom mix at multitracks.com uh, in a later video. But then once I'm done and everything's ready to go, I've got my mix ready. I'm going to purchase it. So I'm going to go to wave. Again, you'll see seven credits. I can go and export my mix. It's going to tell me what all this is. Uh, I'm going to rename this and call this uh, C mix upgrade. Okay. Uh, just so I can know exactly what this is. Some people use this to create multiple versions. Again, we'll talk about this at a later time. So now I'm going to click, I agree, please export my custom mix. Uh, I'm going to check out, I'm using credits for this. So I, I don't have to pay. I'm going to agree to the terms of use and privacy policy, which I have to do every time I check out, but that's fine. Now I'll get this message that says your custom mix has been added to our server queue will be available soon. We'll email you when it's ready to download. So now let's go to account. While that's working, while that's processing, um, I want to go back to this song. So again, I have Homecoming. I could upgrade from here. If I click download, I could upgrade to Custom Mix, which I've already done. Um, I don't want to downgrade. I don't want to upgrade, downgrade to M4A. But then from there, I could also upgrade to a multi-track. Okay, so that's accompaniment track to custom mix to multi-track, which doesn't really make a lot of sense to do. But more often than not, uh, what I see people do is this. So now I have my custom mix that I upgraded to. I'm going to click download. Okay. And now when I go to download, I'm going to go to upgrade. And now I have the option to upgrade to a multi-track uh, and only pay uh, 20 credits to get that or pay 16 credits to get the M4A version or to get the app track version, which you don't want to get if you're using Ableton Live or some external software. If you're using just playback, sure, why not? But uh, when you're purchasing the download file, the Wave or M4A, you also get it in playback as well too. So I always suggest people do this. So let's upgrade our custom mix um, to a multi-track. So now I'm going to click Wave, 20 credits. I'm going to view cart. I obviously don't have to mix anything here. So now uh, I'm going to click checkout. Again, I'm using credits here. Yet again, agree to the terms of use and privacy policy and uh, let this process. And then now I, I get my file that I could log in and use playback to access or uh, use in Ableton Live if I wanted to, which is great. So from there, I could click download and I get access to that. So that's a look at how we can upgrade an accompaniment track or a custom mix from multitracks.com to the full stems file. Again, as a reminder, if you're going to use this live on stage, the using a multitrack is uh, the, the best option that gives you the most flexibility flexibility, uh, the most separation of your stems. That's what I suggest. And I don't suggest doing playback rentals or doing app tracks. Even if you're using playback, I still suggest purchasing the wave version. So you have access to that. Plus you have access to um, the app track version or the download in playback if you want that. So if you want to learn more about using Ableton Live on stage to lead worship, um, then head to from studio to stage.com slash free. I've got a bunch of free resources that you can download, click tracks, guide queue files, time code files if you need that, even a track simple that you can use to format your content purchase from multi-tracks, from loop community, from praise charts, or even your original content so you can have the most freedom and flexibility when leading worship on stage with Ableton live. So again, if you're interested in that, head to from studio to stage.com slash free to check that out. And then also hit subscribe to this YouTube channel. So you see new content when I post it every uh, day at 10 a.m. Central and Wednesdays are all focused on content for worship leaders. So if that's you, you're particularly going to like the content I post every Wednesday, uh, but make sure you hit subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're notified when I post new content and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.